calls. Chuck is a another caller from Chicago. Chuck, you're up on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> um, your dis- your distorted and actually false depictions of Hispanic people really indicate that it's you who's trying to foment um, racial unrest. So, in um, other words, it's I. Wait a minute, it's I who threw rocks at the police in Arizona. If there were rocks thrown at the police in Arizona, they were thrown by some people. Just as you caution that Obama- some people. Wait a minute, sir. I can tell by your voice that you're full of crap. You don't even know what you're talking about because your local news will not show you the footage of the riots going on in Arizona. So before you start making accusations, you better get all the facts. I'm sure you think the Tea Parties are full of racists. Is that correct? First of all, it's you who needs the facts. You're almost wrong about everything that you say. I'm yeah, almost... right. Okay, I'm almost wrong, but I have the show, and you're an unknown, unemployed, big mouth in Chicago with nothing to do but listen to talk radio in the afternoon. Why don't you let me talk? You know why? What is it that What is it that you do for a living? Let me ask you something. Do you have a job? Yeah, I'm an academic. Oh, I figured so. Great. So, in other words, you're a public servant. And you live on the dole. You never held a private a private job in your life. You never produced a product or a service that anybody actually needed. Instead, you lord it over students. And if they don't listen to you, what do you do? Give them a D? Debate me instead of using your... I little- am not your student, sir. So don't try to talk down to me because I'll eat you up like a bonbon. You're now facing a real man. You don't face real men in your academic environment. So let's start with the facts. Now, show me where I'm wrong, factually. Let's put aside all of the argument. Where am I wrong? We'll, we'll, we'll begin with a fact. Do you want to do it concerning Hispanics, or do you want to do it concerning any one of the many errors that you constantly now Let's make? talk about illegal immigration. Let's deal with something that's non-racial. Let's talk about illegal immigration. What do you know about the subject? I know way more than you do. Now, first of all, you frequently... Wait, I do... asked you what you know, so let's start with what you know. What I... percentage... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What percentage of people in prison are illegal immigrants? Um, the percentage is not one-third, as you frequently bring yes, up. Yes, it is one-third. Yes, it is one-third. What are you going to tell me? No, none of our prisoners are here illegally? No, that doesn't mean that it's not one-third. It's one-third of federal prisoners. You're oh, a- so it is one-third of federal prisoners. That's correct. And what did they do to get into federal prison? What crimes did they commit? Most of them are there for various immigration violations. That is that is I'm... not true. Most of them are in there for drug dealing. You know that and I know that. Why is it that you're so soft on the dealing of black tar heroin? You certainly must read the New York Times. Even they ran the story two months ago showing the black tar heroin epidemic that is being disseminated throughout little towns in America. Does that not concern you for the students who go to college? I'm like you. I really have read things. And I can tell you right now that what you are doing is, again, exaggerating and speaking a lot. In other words, I nailed you to a cross, and now you're trying to tell me what I did wrong. All right, next case, Johnny, what else do you know that I don't know? What is it that you, uh, let, let's talk about something else since you're such an expert in immigration. I've studied it for 16 straight years, so I'm not a Johnny-come-lately to the subject. So let's bring up another fact, and let's see who's right and who's wrong. How much money do the illegal, does the illegal immigrant community net produce for the United States of America? How much money do they net produce? My guess is is that what they do is provide a great deal of services. So you just said my guess is because you're a typical academic who doesn't really know anything about business because you've never produced a product or a service that anybody actually needs. The facts, my friend, do not support your guess. The facts are quite to the opposite. There is a net loss of revenue in the United States of America as a direct result of the public services that they are getting for free. You certainly understand that if you go to a hospital or if you go to a a school, you can see the costs are extraordinary. My point is not to debate the immigration policy, and, and I would also wonder what your facts are on that. My point is that you are distorting in order to be able to defame a group of people. All right, now you're going back to your university double talk. Uh, I'm defaming what? When I say that there is rock throwing and violence in Arizona by the illegal aliens? Tell me what is incorrect about that. You are defaming Hispanic people instead of debating... You know, you're full of crap. I'm not one of your students, Johnny, so stop talking down to me. There is rock throwing and violence coming out of the mobs in Arizona right now. I'm not defaming anybody. I'm telling people what they're not seeing because the vermin in the media won't show the pictures. You know, you constantly make the claim that the media won't tell people something, and sometimes when you make that claim, the thing that you say they're not telling is reported on the very news in a room. Oh, so wait a minute. So now you're admitting that you did see the Hispanics in Arizona throwing rocks. 
No, I'm saying that if there were some Hispanics throwing rocks at the... That is of course not. Of course not. That's absolutely true. So what do you make of the illegal immigrant who says they'll take up their shovels and axes and attack the American citizen with them? Is she also an anomaly? There, yes, there's one woman who said that. I think more than anything, those people are probably afraid. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think that the immigration policy is something that needs work in this country. I am not at all opposed to... Professor, let me ask you something. Would you gladly give up your tenured professorship to an illegal immigrant? There are not illegal immigrants seeking tenured professorships in this country. Well, that's why you're able to sit there in your ivory tower with such incredible liberalness uh, about illegal immigrants, because your job is not threatened. Is that correct? That's not what the argument in here is here. Oh, no, of course it's not the argument, because you won't permit it to become the argument. What about students who apply to your university for scholarships who are not citizens? Should they be entitled to scholarships, do you think? No, no, I don't. I, I don't think the students should not be apply, um, applying to schools for scholarships who are not citizens. I think there's a lot with immigration policy. Should that... illegal immigrants be able to pay in-state tuition, or should they be forced to pay tuition as though they are not citizens, which they are not. I mean, I think you'd agree with me that universities are also businesses at the end of the day, and that even your job could be threatened if the budget doesn't support your salary. How in the world can we give in-state tuition to illegal immigrants, which is being done in Illinois and California? I think you'd agree with me on that one. You know, I, I don't want to debate all sorts of specifics about the immigration policy, because in many cases, I would agree that there are corrections that are necessary. The point here is that your distortion of Hispanic people is something that is not... See, but you're the one who's distorting Hispanic people, not me. I have said nothing about Hispanic people. You're the one who said, from the time you entered this show, you've used the words Hispanic people at least six times. I have not used the words Hispanic people once. Why are you obsessed with this, these two words, Hispanic people? What do you mean when you say that there's a race war brewing in the country? Who are you talking about? I didn't say there's a race war brewing in the country. For a professor... You really need to be a little sharper in your listening. I realize that as professor, you generally don't listen. You only talk. I said, is Obama trying to spark a race war? That's a little different, is it not? And who will be the participants in this race war? Well, I don't know. Let's see what Obama said, and maybe you can answer it yourself. He said, I think a lot of white men uh, are leaving Obama in droves, according to what I read. He didn't say that, but do you know what Obama said? He said, it will be up to each of you to make sure that the young people, African-Americans, Latinos and women, who powered our victory in 08, stand together once again. So he left out white men. Why would Obama have done that? Well, again, I'm not sure what the context of that conversation is, and that isn't really what the issue is here. I don't think that you could extract from that comment that he is turning his back on all white men. And I think that you would, that you would fixate on something like that is more indicative of you than anything I think else. you're fixating on Hispanic people, aren't you? You're the one who said Hispanic people over and over again. I said white male once. Do, do, uh, do you really think it is not uh, not rational or pertinent to talk about Hispanic people, given what your subject is here? I can't I don't, well, what are you saying? Well, what is it that you're saying about Hispanic people? I still haven't heard it. Let me start once again. I am saying that your frequent distortion of facts and illogical depiction of arguments would seem to foment racial unrest. And it's okay, so what is it that's illogical in what I've said? The, the, the extraction of... That, the, that the, one out of three prisoners in federal lockup are illegal immigrants. We agreed on that. Is that correct? So where's the distortion? We both agreed that it's one out of three. It's 30% of federal prisoners are illegal aliens. And you usually present that as one out of three prisoners. You never used a qualifier in federal prisons. As you're aware... Right, well, now, so now you agree that it's in federal prisons. It's probably much higher in local prisons. No, no it's... Probably much no, higher in county prisons. So why are so many hospitals closing along the border with Mexico? Isn't it because the illegal immigrants have uh, utilized services to which they're not entitled? Listen, you simple-minded fraud. Oh, in other words, I got you. Now you're reverting like Gordon Brown to the rat you really are. You see, you started using bad names, you bum. I nailed you to a cross. I pity the children who sit in your class, you bum. I'd like to rat bum you. You should be thrown out of the university. You should give your job to an illegal alien, you rat bum you. I'll be back. Sam.